What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Civilization 5. We have the AI only world battle with the health and plagues mod. Some interesting developments going on. Russia is trying to squeeze their units through a very tiny gap here to fight Greece. Germany are heading eastwards through Poland. I have no idea why that is going on. Looks like Assyria, oh wait, Assyria is at war with Egypt. Never mind, I was going to say it's preparing to. They are. I'm just going to turn my microphone. Sorry for any funny noises. There we go. That might make it a bit better. Um, South America is on a whole new dynamic after last video. Obviously, Chile gave up their northern northernmost city of Concepcion to Argentina, and Brazil took a peak, took Tiwanaku, this city here, from the Incans in a peace deal. There we go. Got it out in the end. So yeah, Argentina and Brazil definitely solidified their power in South America. Although that may be shaken up because now the Congo uh, here. Yep. Yep, that, that just happens. Congo are here. Spain just settled Iceland. Didn't even notice that, but there we go. Zaragoza, and they're already got a cargo ship here, I presume, sending the food in. The Iroquois have another settler up here as well, and so does Spain. So maybe Spain, Iroquois. Spain may accidentally goad the Iroquois into wars for Zaragoza, or Iceland, and Ireland, if they settle in Canada. That'd be quite likely. Let's see that maybe going down. Texas... On, they're still on the offensive. I mean, it's risky. I mean, if you're going to go for it, go all out. But they're not. They've got most of their units. So they don't have that many units left. The Iroquois do look, do look stronger. So Texas should be worried. Well, Texas have, uh, maybe not more of a navy. Probably not. I was going to say more of a navy, but they don't. They don't. Um, the Aztecs and the Mayans have grinded each other into the ground. The uh, still, yep. These crossbowmen are just going to fail. No surprise there. The Congo still trying to attack Persia. They are, and it's still failing. I mean, it's going to stay that way for a while. Sort of like, try something else, Congo. You know, they are... I know it's try, try, try again, but I think you've tried a few too many times. Greece is still staying ridiculously quiet. They did just enter the industrial era, so they are a bit behind the rest of the world, but the majority. Uh, Rome, riflemen, just... Just noting what people have. How is I don't know how who who are we gonna have a look at? Let's there's no not particularly any cities under siege at the moment. Britain have got their first rates. So maybe we're gonna see Britain since they're still alive. Maybe come into the game a bit more because they're a coastal power. There's a lot of coastal cities around them, including Birmingham, Mercia, Zaragoza, Munich. That one. Cumae and Leeds in particular, their original city, then obviously up through Scandinavia, it's all pretty much coastal, except Warsaw and Berlin. So they could definitely do some damage, Britain. I remember one campaign a while back where they did really good, sort of split Europe up there. I think, was it, they're a strong Germany maybe? There was a strong somebody in this sort of area, and then Poland, yeah, I think it was a strongish Germany, and then Poland and Britain carved them up, but then Poland finished Britain out, pushed Britain out eventually in the end anyway. Japan and China peace deal. Yep, good job, Japan. You didn't give away any of your cities. That's good. Keeps you in some sort of contention. Oh, new disease just broke out in Hanoi. So the last one, I think, one of the last two. I'm not 100%. I'm pretty sure the last one broke out in the Congo's capital, and that might have slowed them down a bit. I'm not 100% sure how bad it was, but now Hanoi. So now it's Vietnam to be hit with the big diseases. I think... I think Texas haven't been hit by one or the Iroquois directly, but there definitely was one out here in North America. Whether it was in one of their cities or not, there was one that hurt some of their cities. It didn't start there, but maybe. And I think Poland have been hit by were hit by two in the earlier game. Not again, not necessarily themselves, but some of their cities came became infected from a disease from elsewhere. I think there was one in Greece, maybe. Who knows? Japan and Russia pieced out. Russia and the Congo pieced out. And oh, there we go. There was a siege going on and I missed it. The Songhai have eliminated Ethiopia. And Assyria are trying. They, they need these reinforcements to hurry up. They nearly took Harar, this city here as well. The Songhai should be okay at the moment. I mean, it looks like they're going to settle out here, which is brave. But I mean, it would eventually maybe lead to a chance to connect. Yep, the Songhai and Ethiopia piecing out. Ethiopian great general will roam roam the earth for the rest of the game. 
India and the Huns pieced out. Again, no, no peace deal. And they are trying. Someone is trying. I think the Huns and Mongolia are teaming up here to try and get rid of Poland from what they feel is their land. But don't think... Eh, maybe. If the Huns try a bit harder, I don't even know if the Huns... The Huns appear... I think the Huns are at war because this unit's in the green. But I think Mongolia definitely is. The Huns, maybe this guy was just injured before and they just stood there. But I'm pretty sure Germany... I don't know where Germany are going. We're going to find out in a second if they declare war on Russia or whether they just walk sort of straight through. Maybe they're going for Mongolia or somebody. Who are Germany at war with? Let's have a look. Nope, wrong thing. Embargo the Huns. That is... Why would the Congo want to do that? That is random. Um, no idea why the Congo would want to do that. Just doesn't make sense. But okay, let's find Germany. Germany are at war with... Okay, yeah, there we go. War with the Huns. So Germany are actually heading out here by the looks of things to go and fight the Huns. Which is probably not smart. Poland, if there was a time... Oh, actually, no, I was going to say, if there was a time to invade Germany, it would be now. It's not. It's when these units are past Russia. I was going to say, if you do it now, they're sort of in the middle. I mean, it would be a slaughter from both sides. These German Gatling guns would do pretty well, though. Uh, Arabia, ah, there we go, okay, maybe, nope, they're going to go from the same direction as Congo, I mean, they should be trying, if India join in, maybe, but Persia, pretty safe, uh, the Inca and the Iroquois pieced out, and luckily the Inca didn't give away any more cities to the Iroquois in that peace deal, which was wise, <laughs> to say the least, have we seen, okay, there's another Iroquois city up here, uh, where is that Spanish settler heading, it's probably going to head over here, which isn't, wise unless it comes out all the way out here should also be kind of surprising still no one heading for hawaii no settlers in the ocean they're still uh, these aren't the greatest of islands vietnam pretty much all of western new guinea anyway papua new guinea it's going to be under theirs oh and there we go vietnam settling here no idea what this island is in real life but yeah they've settled here is this Malaysia? Maybe no. I don't know. They're all just too complicated. I should get a map. I should get a map. But um, oh yeah, I forgot. Korea still have two cities up here. What is going on? Load map. Korea have got one of the higher populations, and I guess it's because Seoul is at 23. Vietnam have the biggest, of course. Hanoi, nice and big, 30 population city. No, I don't want to choose a host. The AI can do that. Okay, so let's watch Assyria here, see how they do it, and we'll keep Persia and Arabia now helping them out. See how that goes. Oh my goodness, look at that Roman frigate army in the uh, in the west of Rome. That is that is pretty powerful. <laughs> that would be that should worry Spain, who still have Galeuses, and also Greece, who still have Galeuses. I mean, Greece should be okay. They've got the numbers on Rome. But Spain definitely could probably lose Barcelona and Santiago to Rome. And that would not be good for them. Britain are actually making a comeback. That is incredible. They've just been left with Paris, a really good city. And it's allowed them to come right back into this game. Whether they will... It's just a random Roman trireme. Never mind. I was going to say, why do Rome still have triremes? But never mind, it's just a random one. I'm sure it is not going to be a regular occurrence. Don't know where this settler's going. Let's go have a look. Okay, they are failing. Assyria will not be conquering what remains of Egypt by the looks of things. A lot of land would come with it. Um, obviously, this city is probably going to be safe until the Congo or Songhai opts to take it out. No idea where this Songhai settler's going. What are all these Congo units doing in northern Africa? And Okay, Fez did go to Rome, very briefly, but now it's probably going to stay Moroccan. I have no idea where these Congo units are going, but Rome... Rome is obviously keeping an eye on them. Germany still, they're trying to work their way. I don't think they can get open borders through Russia, so they've got to try and go around the north. This is not a good idea, Germany. You are going to get yourself into some trouble with somebody, I'm sure, if Rome... Uh, Rome, yeah, Rome's power is sort of concentrated down here though. Rome is still only at 12 population, that's kind of weird. And also most of Italy, still free. They could have settled like another city here, or in Sardinia, if they wanted to build even more boats. 
but they seem to be okay. Greece has become the host. Apparently, they've got the most votes because they got the uh, is it the Red Fort? I don't know. They got one of the wonders. So Alexander is now in control of the politics. I mean, he's, I always forget that Greece and Rome are just sat here, just doing their own thing. The song high, pretty quiet. This has been one of the weirdest campaigns. Some of the stuff that's been happening has been really, really random. And South America is still a pretty big mess. Still just a mess. I want to see Argentina v Brazil. At some point, these guys have got to just go for it. Because if one of them wins, they will almost certainly be in with a chance to catch the top five if they do it quick enough. Or top six, as I've been saying. Recently, Mayans are staying quiet. Aztecs are staying... Oh, that is rough. Okay, Texas definitely not going to be in Montezuma's good books anyway. Cutting off Tenochtitlan by land. And Texcoco from um, the north. And what's this? Poland. Okay, so Poland has gone against the Iroquois and gone with order. So we've already seen autocracy for the Iroquois. Order from Poland. So it'll be interesting to see who's producing more tourism out of those two in a second, actually. See, get maybe an idea for where the other powers are going to go. Surprise, Poland are in second. I thought they'd fallen behind a bit more than that. Yeah, Eastern Europe. Oh, it's an interesting religious battle. Poland is fully following... Zoroastrianism though, as is Russia, but then Greece is only in the east from Persia's religion. But then you've got Islam now coming across towards Sparta and probably pretty soon going to be in Athens. Yeah, seven followers for Zoroastrianism, six for Islam, which Morocco have done well. They've got it into Europe. Spain are following it, at least mainland Europe. Some, Although Protestantism is now coming over the Atlantic into Ireland, so that's pretty interesting. Obviously, almost, if not all of North America, I feel, is, yeah, Protestant. Yeah, as expected. Is Japan? Japan's going to be safe. Luckily, they've got Shinto. If they didn't have a religion, of course, we'd probably see Protestantism jumping over. Uh, let's quickly check them. Poland. Uh, we can have a look at the points, actually, in a second of the top sort of six sieves. Tourism. The Iroquois are actually in the lead. Poland are down here. So I presume we'll see someone else go with the Iroquois. But... Only the Iroquois are fairly far ahead. So on score, we'll look at it on score. Uh, who? Let's find the powers. So the powers, Iroquois there, they're leading for score. There's Rome. I think we are going to see the top six, actually, in the top six for score. Uh, Poland, they're up in fourth for score. Who else is doing well? Texas. Yep, they are second at the moment for score. Uh, Congo. Is that it? There's a green one. Who's green? Is that Australia? No. Oh, Vietnam. Sorry, my bad. Vietnam. There we go. So, yeah. So, Rome are actually far, fairly far behind on points. Military. That's actually harder to see. Um, kind of. Yeah, that's difficult to see. Um, but Congo had the biggest army. That's what matters. But, yeah. Rome, at least score-wise, a bit further off the other five. So, I'll bear that in mind. Jeez, Greece, why are you so peaceful? Like You could easily take Toledo here. And even then, you could even go after Rome pretty quickly. And you'd probably grab Rome, which would maybe not be the best thing in the long term. But in the short term, it might be good. And it would end Rome's chances of winning. So this is actually Rome's biggest city. 17 population between the mountains over the actual city of Rome. It's kind of interesting. Where is this going? This might be going for the Moroccan capital since they lost Fez. Which is possible. And then of course they could use that to block some of this Spanish boats. Actually, I think we might see Rome v Spain here. Because unless Spain are willing to give Rome open borders. Which is unlikely. Oh, Assyria did get the job done. There we go. On the smaller city. But there we go. Assyria pushing deeper into Africa. Which is interesting to see. They are very spread out though. Yeah, Arabia are getting closer than the Congo got. But there's still so many Persian units. They just defending this coast doing a good job you they're definitely safe unless like i said india need to com come and contribute the disease hasn't left hanoi yet which is quite impressive Let's see maybe vietnam with this new city see they've got a few more coastal cities now pyongyang they took a little while back maybe we'll start seeing maybe a vietnamese navy form up 
And that may be the end of Japan. Maybe they're eyeing up Osaka, maybe. Who knows? Nice island. Even Kyoto. Some southern Japan. Or Tokyo in northern Japan. It's up to them. <laughs> of course, they could then go for Seoul, Busan, and Beijing. And very quickly, you'd have a very, very scary Vietnam. Texas, you are really wasting your time here. You're... It's kind of worrying for you that you're just letting the Iroquois grow very strong. <laughs> Probably not the best move. Okay, next turn. Are Assyria going to continue pressing for Memphis? I, I don't know if they have enough. These are mostly workers. Don't be fooled by the workers. China and Egypt pieced out. And what are Rome doing here? I think they're probably trying to negotiate themselves and open borders, and it's probably not going to work. And then we may even end up seeing Rome v Spain, which would be really awesome. I don't know who would win. Rome would obviously destroy a lot of the boats Spain have, but Spain has got a lot of land units, and Neapolis here, pretty much untouched. And that's the sort of where Rome, Spain would focus their efforts, and up here towards Birmingham, I guess. So it would be quite an interesting front. Obviously, Cumai and Leeds, Antium, they're not really going to help in a defence against Spain. And also, would Spain maybe get the British to help, or vice versa? Would Britain help Rome? Who knows? Interesting times. And then, would that kickstart Poland v Germany? Who knows? If they're less, less likely to see something over there. Not sure. Ooh, where are the Huns heading? Maybe the Huns and Germany are going to meet each other head on up here in sort of Polish land. Maybe Poland will give them both open borders. Actually, no. These are the Huns going after Poland. Wait, no. There's no way these guys are at war. Yeah, this is just open borders. Mongolia are trying to take the city, though. But it's failed. So, yeah, I think we're going to see Poland are giving open borders to Germany and the Huns so that they can fight each other and weaken each other. That's very sneaky, but very clever from Poland. They could do with Russia getting involved. <laughs> Just get Russia in to destroy both sides' militaries once they're up here fighting. That would be so clever. And then Poland could invade both Germany and Russia. And very quickly, probably retake the lead. If they took Berlin and all of Russia, I think they'd be back in front in the campaign. Let's do our little check on Australia. See, they're more important now. I'm waiting to see that Australia v Chile and Australia taking New Zealand. Not sure if that will happen, though. Australia have Gatling guns, that's a surprise. I think Australia are probably about 7th. Ooh. Ooh, finally something. Something a little more interesting. Did the outbreak end? It didn't even spread. Yeah, as you get later into the game, it does tend to spread a bit less. And, you know, there's better healthcare. Vietnam was probably the best prepared AI of them all for that to happen. So, um, China is going to try and attack Seoul. And there's going to be a bit of help from the couple of Vietnamese frigates. But that's going to be about it. Actually, there's a third one here which can come around. It's three frigates. Maybe that will help. But yeah, this can be interesting to see if Seoul is to fall. India pieced out with Korea. Nothing happened there. So India can sleep safe for a little while, knowing Vietnam pretty preoccupied. While one of the biggest gaps in the map is slowly filling the Huns from the east, the Indians from the south, Vietnam from the southeast, and then more India bit of Mongolia. Mongolia are going to be locked off eventually in this desert. Will be split between India, the Huns, and Vietnam. Probably by the end of the game. Ooh, that doesn't matter. Spain v the Shoshone? Nope. And Brazil v the Shoshone? Again. Doesn't matter, but maybe maybe a bit, another person will attack soon. Someone else. Maybe the Iroquois will give it another go to try and expand their border with Texas, because there's a biggish one down here. That's about it. There isn't actually one up here. But it is fairly close to being one. Um, uh, Spain are also heading towards the Caribbean. They are very expansive towards this mid to late game now, Spain. Sending a lot of settlers out. Trying to grab what they can. Which may not be the worst move in the world. See Brazil here. Three very nice cities starting to develop in the Caribbean. Which may, in the end, come back to bite Argentina. If Brazil can store their planes out here, etc. It's going to hurt Argentina. Okay, is, is anything? Nope. Arabia and Persia. Still still trying this. Congo really, really wasting their time at the moment. I don't know what Congo are doing. They've built up a bit of an army here. Who knows where that's going. I have a feeling... Yeah, it's too late for the Zulu and Rhodesia now. They're just too late. 
they had chances where they really could have actually punished the Congo, but it's not going to happen now. And also Congo, it's time to build a bit of a navy. It's not really the... Is this, I guess, the southern Atlantic, I guess? <laughs> Africa is... I think Africa is the largest continent. Actually, now North America looks pretty big, and so is Asia on this map, so I'm not going to... Not going to make any guesses, but here we go. Let's see the first impact of China. Yep, they destroy the first unit, and they're moving in with their slightly outdated chokanoos. But at the same time, there's no more defense out here. Ooh, India v. China. That is probably going to slow the Chinese down a little bit. Oh, it's just because this unit's here. But um, Russia, that doesn't matter. It's just support. Yep, Russia's saying they're on India's side. I think soon... Some stuff's going to go down in Asia, and that's going to sort of... We're going to lose a few civs in Asia, I feel. I feel like maybe China could go with one city. Vietnam aren't going to be able to... Pro uh, Vietnam, we're probably going to have to try and hold off a couple of these Huachas from Korea. Mongolia are actually pretty large in terms of size. I mean, they're not huge, but they are pretty big. So, Vietnam and China. I think, I think they've both gone. Vietnam have actually moved most of their units down here. It looks like maybe they are preparing to attack Osaka. Who knows? J the Japanese aren't too well prepared for that. They've got a lot of land units, but all their navy up here and these Galeases wouldn't do too well. Vietnam could probably get the job done. I mean, they could even stick cannons and shoot across the sea if they wanted to. I'm pretty sure. Vietnam now have a settler. No idea where that's going. And there we go. India did settle Sri Lanka recently just a note oh okay okay then that's Rhodesia that's not Australia I was gonna say Australia a bit behind but that isn't Australia no worries Australia fans the Congo like this is your time just a, help help Assyria out here and you may end up grabbing a 12 population city in the process but yeah the Songhai may be able to keep keep Congo at bay as we are seeing Germany and Russia kind of do to Poland and obviously Rome Spain and Greece are sort of the Roman examples Texas and the Iroquois it's more natural <laughs> it's not it's not AI that's holding them back it's more the nature the mountains the geography that's causing them to struggle to grow anymore and the Congo is stubbornness put it down to AI stubbornness that they really really want to get this city of Persia Persia's lot get rid of Persia even though it serves would serve no purpose for Congo to have this city I mean they're nowhere near any of their other cities nearest one down here you can't even get it on the screen at the same time okay maybe no just about okay so Seoul already a siege has begun China don't really have the boats though the the uh, What's going on there? China do not have the ranged boats to try anything. Also, India fighting the Chinese Navy here. That doesn't help. So, Asia looks like it's going to be the next area. Oh, knock that. Um, Asia it looks like it's going to be the most exciting area in the coming videos. As some of the civs get to that point where they start to accelerate away with some better technologies. Vietnam probably soon going to be moving onto battleships etc in the uh, navy finding oil and coal as well before oil and already people in Seoul are starving it just dropped from 22 to 21 that is not good not good for the Koreans I mean I, I, I would like one of these two to take each other out or at least you know a little bit because if China took Seoul they wouldn't be back in the game but then hopefully Vietnam would take out China and then maybe we'd see the game start to get a bit more interesting but again I don't want to wish anyone's downfall upon them as I've said previously oh my goodness maybe oh no Spain don't do this to me they're heading I think they're gonna head for like set to settle if imagine if Spain settle here that'd be insane but um Spain are probably gonna settle one of these islands and miss out on Hawaii altogether which sucks how did they even get this settler down here is it the one from up here no that's this one Where's the other one? There's another one here. Spain have got a lot of settlers out in the wild just looking for any bit of land that they can. 
But yeah, I feel like Spain are going to come settle. Actually, it looks like they're heading this way. It does look like maybe we're going to get lucky and see a Panama Canal owned by the Spanish. That would be quite interesting because then other sieves, I feel, I'm pretty sure, can then trade through it. So that'd be interesting. Spain could sort of plunder people's trade routes if they didn't like them. But that is going to be it for this episode. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and maybe even subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.